Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we are going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Techie Designs Fogging Grim Reaper. <music> So here he is, Fogging Grim Reaper. This is one I've wanted for a very long time, but I thought he was out of stock everywhere. I could not find him uh, until I found out Party City was still selling him online. So he just came about 10 minutes ago and I'm already unboxing him here. Super excited about this one. This is definitely one of my favorite techie props of all time. I love the motion this guy has and also the just fog effect. I love Harvester of Souls for that and I love this guy for the same reason. With the fog coming out of the mouth, it looks awesome. So let's get straight into the unboxing. Here we go. All right, let's get straight into the unboxing. So let's tilt this so you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, you can't really recognize too much just yet. Uh, first thing is just the adapter box right on top here. Now, let's see what we can get out. Hopefully we can get this big mech piece out. Uh, it looks like we should be able to, but there are some uh, twist ties. So, let's just take these twist ties off real quick. Alright, we got the twist ties off. And here is the main mech piece with control box. This thing is pretty crazy, actually. Uh, now, he has some of the most turning I've ever seen on an animatronic. This thing turns like a full 90 degrees, and that's because of how huge this arm piece is. Uh, so that is really cool. I definitely like that a lot. Now, the next thing we're actually going to do is tilt this box over because uh, the rest is actually zip-tied to the box itself. So it's definitely easier just to do this where we tilt it over and get our inside box out. Got the box out here. Now we can move this aside and let's take a look what we have in here. All right, so first thing here, fog tube. Good thing they include that. Next we have, let's see what we can access. We do have the head here, but it looks like it is also twist tied to the box. So what I'm gonna do is get all this untwist tied and out and we're gonna lay it all out and show all the parts here we go all right so here we have all of our parts laid out and there are actually a surprising amount so we have the main mech with control box adapter in box two pieces for the base the clothing plus the plastic forming hunchback the awesome face which will show up close here looks great very big head the two hands the hunchback metal piece Tons of poles right there, the two arms, and all of our fog accessories. Let's get to the setup. All right, let's begin our setup. So we have the instructions right here, uh, and I did assemble the base already. It's just the two parts connecting, but for some reason mine was a bit bent, so I did that off camera, but here we are. Uh, let's attach our poles. So our first two up here are labeled C, so we're connecting C to C. Snap lock that in. Here's our other C pole right here. Uh, and actually, no, here's the C pole. The other one is labeled G. So the G one goes in back over here, connecting G to G. So once we have this snap locked in like that, we can head on to our next set of poles, which connects all the rest of the letters. So if you're looking at the top, this one is labeled D. So we're going to connect D to D up here. And then over here, this one is also labeled D. So we're going to connect this one right here. And then our back one is labeled H. So our H pull, let's find that. Here it is. And we're going to attach this right here. So we're already getting a bit high up. So we're going to pause, move the camera up, and continue on. Here we go. All right, let's connect the rest of our poles. So we have E right here. E's going in front right here. And now uh, our next one is also E. And then we're moving to I. So I is right here in the back. Snap lock this in. There we go. This guy is extremely tall. This is much taller than I thought. I've never actually seen him on in person, although I have seen him through the window of a Halloween city. Uh, I haven't seen him like up close. So yeah, this is definitely bigger than I was expecting. With Harvester, the actual triangle piece that connects to this is much lower, more like here instead of way up here. Uh, so that's where the mech is, all the way up there. So, and that is actually our next step. So let's take this. This goes in front, I'm guessing the control box is, but we can also check our stickers. 
labeled f. f is, let's see, f is actually this one. So it would be kind of in the side. So there we go. There's one, there's two, and let's get our third one on here. Uh, and then they all kind of just slide down and snap lock in place. One, two, and three. And then we can just slide the whole thing down till it clicks into all of them right there. So there we go. It is already very tall. Uh, and our next piece is huge too. So that makes it even taller. So let's actually attach that piece. Uh, it looks like, uh, actually, it looks like we're going to get the clothing over this first. So I'm going to get the clothing over this first off camera because uh, we're just draping it over and that saves time. But then our next piece is this huge spine piece. And this is going to add even more height up here. So he's a very tall prop. I'd say more like almost eight feet than just seven. So super cool to see that kind of size. Let's get on to the next part. Here we go. All right, so this thing is already taller than me. Uh, it is huge. So let's attach our next piece. I did attach the clothing. It's all draped to the bottom right now, but we will adjust it all later. So I'm not even sure if you guys can see the full height of this thing, but it is absolutely massive. It is huge, very tall, much bigger than I would expect because they did say seven feet, but I don't think that's seven feet because uh, the ceiling is over eight uh, because Dark Angel could fit in here and he is a bit over eight feet. So this is probably closer to eight feet tall. Super cool, but if you were planning on keeping him in a smaller room, that might not work out. So next, uh, let's check what we are doing in the instructions, but I think, yep, it looks like we are bringing the clothes back up. So I'm not sure where these attach to right now, but this can just kind of move over right here and we can take our side over here and I'm not sure where we're going to put these just yet so I'm just going to lean these right here but uh, this clothing is going to come all the way up and go somewhere. I'm not sure where just yet but let's check what our next piece is and it looks like it actually might be our head piece. So let's take the head and put this on uh, attaching L to L and then we also have some arms to attach to this piece up here. So L is right up here. And I'm not sure if you guys can even see this anymore. So let's move the camera up just a bit. Uh, but then we will also get the clothing on uh, and attach this head. Be right back. Okay, so I do have the clothing on now. That was a bit difficult, but it is definitely worth it to see how giant this thing is. So our next part is the head, and this makes it even more giant. I'm really surprised by the size with this guy. Uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest I own. This thing is crazy. So we're gonna attach this piece right here. Uh, it just attaches with a snap lock. Close here. This is actually the main piece. Uh, it does have a mech on it, uh, and this is the piece that connects all the arms and stuff like that. So there it is. It is giant. This thing is huge, and it's also like five feet long from this way. So very, very big prop. Let's cut and get the arms and all of that ready so we can do the demo. Here we go. All right, so we have the camera moved down and this unzippered so we can access the area for the arms. So our first arm is the one over here. Uh, so let's take this fabric, kind of slide it through. The bottom is actually open. So it's not really requiring sliding. We just want to make sure it gets up here through the cloth so we don't have to redo this. Now let's take this and snap lock it in place. So we can just slide this over. It does snap lock to the actual place where the head went. So now this area up here, I'm not sure how this cloth really works because there is so much of it. It's really hard to tell but I think we have it right here. There we go. Looks pretty good. And this comes all the way down to the bottom here uh, like that. And then our hand will attach right here. So our next side over here, let's take this one. Same thing, just kind of slide it through, not fully. Uh, and then we'll take the other side up here. There we go. 
and now we're going to snap lock it in the same area uh, with the head and the other arm. So snap lock this in. Bit harder to do on this side for some reason, but there we go. And now we can, uh, this actually is a lot easier over here with the cloth because there we go, already looks good. Super cool, creepy position there. Our next step is the hands. So let's attach these awesome hands. These are also very big, uh, just like the head, and they match pretty nicely. They have little snap locks, uh, plastic ones, not metal. Uh, and there, I can't find, there it is. There is a little Velcro for the hands, so the plastic doesn't get exposed there. There's one and our final piece right here, other than the fog equipment, which we will be using. Uh, and there we go, Velcro this right here. And there we go, that completes our setup, other than the fog stuff, which I will do off camera. But there he is, fogging Grim Reaper. He is huge, let's go to the demo. First, we're gonna do a normal demo, and then the second one is with fog. Here we go. All right, let's plug him in. Our first demo here is just normal, and then we will go to the fog. Alright, now for the time you all have been waiting for, let's test it with fog. The underworld has called out your name. Come closer, little lost soul. I'll be taking you to your final resting place. <laughs> So that was the Fogging Grim Reaper by Techie Design. He is so cool. Got him. PartyCity.com. Definitely recommend this one. They actually delivered him within one day from the order. So super happy about that. But yeah, this guy is incredible. I got him for 220 because Party City actually has a 15% off at all time. 
uh, and he is just so cool. Definitely worth the price for that size and amazing animation. One of my favorite animations just because of how huge it is. And then also the fog add-on is great. Doesn't include the fog machine, but includes everything else to get it all connected. All right, so there he is, Fog and Grim Reaper. Definitely recommend this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.